we had a lot of trouble with it, and we just sort of gave up. We got a little over about a minute, minute and a half before we actually go on. No pressure. Is it the red wire? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if this thing works, at the very top of it, it will start spinning red when they're about to go on, yeah. and then there'll be a solid red. All right, so it's blue at least. Yeah. So oh. right said first didn't connect, and now it took like one second of connecting this time. So we've got an image. All right, so we, let's see. Do you want me to put that camera somewhere else, babe? Well, I think it would just be ideal if it was had both of you in it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I mean all four me. I mean all four of you. I've got a face for radio. <laughs> cool. Now we'll, we'll be good. Hey Spencer, go ahead and start it up out there. Okay, I've got your name on my little sign there so people know who I'm talking to. We'll do like late night TV and I'll yeah. one of the CDs up. Pretty cool. Is it working out there, Spencer? Maybe, maybe not. If you're watching on Jason's page, yeah. this is live radio at its best. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, we might be going live on our Facebook. <clears throat> we can keep trying if he has to walk through here. There we go. We'll work with it. It is time now for our Iowa Country Artist of the Week on KBOE, and that country artist is Mr. Jason Wallsmith. Jason, how the heck you doing? Good morning. How's it going? Doing good. Glad to have you here in the studio. You are making your KBOE debut today. Yeah, I'm very excited. Thanks for having me. No problem. Thanks for coming in. And we are literally going to get to know each other as we go right now. Because That's the best way. <laughs> <laughs> you just came into the studio. Yeah. We have had no prep time, which is kind of a good way to do it because yeah. uh, we get some uh, genuine reaction and, and stories out of you as we go. Again, Jason Wallsmith, our uh, KBOE Iowa Country Artist of the Week. We invite you to go to the Steve Shetler KBOE Facebook page to see the live feed of what's going on here in the studio. I know, Jason, you're also, uh, are you on YouTube right now? Yeah, we are live on YouTube. This is some pretty amazing yeah. times, aren't they, where we can just be live everywhere at we've the got, same time? And we've got multiple cameras going. We've got all sorts of angles. Hopefully you get my good angle over there on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jason, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, where, where do you come from here in the I'm, state of I'm Iowa? I'm from Des Moines originally, and uh, I've pretty much spent my whole life in central Iowa. I went to college in Ames, and but I've also toured the whole country for decades yeah. and, and a little bit around the world and so i don't know i love calling iowa home definitely yeah. and, and you've you've been in this little iowa band for a few years now what, what band is that yeah I'm, a, I'm in a band called donatas i started that band with mike butterworth in 1993 so okay. so yeah we're we're racking up those years <laughs> <laughs> but i see on facebook something about like a, a 20 year uh, anniversary or was it more I think than that, that well so yeah was we started in 93 else? which makes this I think our 28th year yeah. but we we keep celebrating like 20th years of certain records I think that, okay all right that kind of thing um, in 2018 we were inducted into the Iowa Hall Rock and Roll Hall of Fame which is nice. pretty cool yeah oh, I just now I just got nervous because I said rock and roll but <laughs> Uh, and this is a country station, but you know, <laughs> we, we straddled the line there. Quite yeah, a bit. yeah, country music anymore is a little bit of this, a little yeah. bit of that. Yep. <laughs> so, you've been in the Nottas for the last 28 years, yep. and uh, you're, you've just kind of started doing this country ish thing here with the last yeah. year or so. Well, I've always had the country influence okay. in the Nottas. We're the Nottas are a duo, and we've always kind of had uh, a pretty wide spectrum of genre sound to sure. us. And I br I've always brought that country angle to the band, and, and Mike brought the sort of uh, rock radio uh, element to the band, and we worked together, and that's what became the band. So, But when I decided to do a solo record, I mm -hmm. wanted to lean into that a little bit more, just because that's my sound and what I like and what I listen to. Yeah, very cool. And uh, and your new album, is that that just came out here not too long it ago, It did. Right? It, uh, we, we released it sort of... Um, well, we really, even that sort of is weird these days. So we released yeah. it August 31st. Um, I only remember that very specifically because it's my birthday, and I did it that reason, way for, for that reason, just okay. for fun. <laughs> um, but we're actually calling, like, next year's tour the Overlander Tour. So 
We're going to be releasing it all year long, all right. 2022. <laughs> so yeah, it came out. It's online. Uh, it's you know, it's it's on all the streaming services and and it's on my website. Um, but we'll be promoting it and touring all over the country yeah. uh, next year for that. And we've been giving some uh, some love to your song Camper Van here awesome. on KBOE. Thank you so much. So yeah. uh, part of our uh, Iowa music rotation here on KBOE because we love to support our Iowa country artists. Uh, so be listening for Camper Van uh, here on KBO. We actually played that here a couple hours ago. Awesome. So tell us, you're, you see, you label yourself on your Facebook page at least, kind of as Jason Wallsmith Storyteller. What, yeah. What's the story between behind Storyteller? Sure. Well, I mean, I kind of have always considered myself just barely a musician, honestly. Even though <laughs> I've got, I've got like a dozen records out, and then this one solo record. But, but what you know, I think of it as as storytelling just with a guitar that kind of gives you an excuse. Um, I've also done like photography my whole career and, and that's another form of storytelling. So I don't know, when I think about the root of what I do, it's, um, it's storytelling. And, and as you write these songs, you know, there's, there's always the story behind the songs. And I love telling those to people too. I think it engages people and gets them interested in, in the song even more. So sure. I don't know, I just decided I'd put it out there because I identified myself as that, you know? Yeah, now is there, because of course I was scanning through your, your social media and your website and all that. Now with the storyteller thing, is that kind of a, a group, a movement type of a thing that's going on or am I totally off on that? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I honestly, I did like a, I did a storytelling event okay. like five or six years ago where I talked about that as a, that, as a part of my identity, whether okay. it's photography or playing music. And I, I've also done a little bit of public speaking, and okay. so I, I worked that in there. But it does seem like there might be a little bit of a, a movement of that because, like, Dave Roll's new book is called Storyteller, right. and, and uh, we just went and saw Todd Snyder in Madison, Wisconsin, and he talked about being a storyteller. So sure. I think it's just all right. we're all we're all kind of waking up to the fact that it's okay to label ourselves. That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you have literally, uh, like we were talking about your song, Camper Van, you, you and your wife have literally uh, been in the camper van uh, for a while now, right? We have. This was kind of a COVID thing for us where, um, you know, the band had most of our dates cancel, like everybody else had everything yeah. cancel. And uh, we sat at home for a couple months, which was honestly the longest I'd ever been at home as an adult. And, uh, Were you going stir crazy? I was getting restless. <laughs> yeah, and so we we started thinking about you know what could we do to to kind of I don't know pay the bills and buy groceries, but also just do what I do in life. And we decided that if we could travel self-contained, avoid hotels and restaurants yeah. and all that, and then do these kind of private small shows where we weren't making large crowds of people gather and risking things, but we could stay socially distanced and be outside. Sure then we can make it work. So that's what we did. We bought this camper van. It's called the Storyteller Overland. When we found it, I had already been calling myself Jason Wallace with Storyteller, and it just seemed very serendipitous. Yeah. You know? So we found this Storyteller Overland van, and uh, we hit the road, and we've done 75,000 miles and over 100 shows <laughs> in the past wow. year and a half. And very cool. Played coast to coast, corner to corner. Yeah, because weren't you just like in Ohio just not too long Last ago? Week, and, yeah, and yeah. Played yeah. Chicago. Played Chicago with the Nottas. Okay. And then I continued on to Ohio and played this van builder open house. So traveling in this van and then playing all these like van life community meetups and things. I mean, I've played in the middle of the desert. I've played on the beach. And all I have to have is a van and a guitar and, and yeah. a group of people. And so being a part of this van life kind of thing has created a whole new community for me, which is really fun. Yeah, and you're, you're a gypsy. I always have them, yeah. You know. <laughs> Jason Wallsmith, again, part of the nod is doing his solo uh, effort here in the studio today as our Iowa Country Artist of the Week. We've talked long enough. Let's do some music, shall well, we? Should I start with that camper van song? Sure, let's do that. A little bit? All right. So this is Camper Van, and we, uh, I wrote the song as I was planning on one of our first trips in the van, and we were going all the way from Iowa to Seattle and back with, uh, you know, a dozen stops along the way, and I realized I wanted to Part of playing this way is there's a little bit more freedom, you know, you're not kind of locked into certain times and, as much. And so I wanted to find some interesting things to see along the way. So I sat down at home and I started mapping the route that we were going to take to see what we could do and see along the way. And I was doing old school with like a map and a piece of paper. Yeah. And it felt like writing a song. Like while I was doing it, it just sort of kicked in those muscles, you know. And so I, I started writing a song at the same time. So this is Camper Van. All right, Jason Wallsmith by KBOE. Hours to the Black Hills Mountains, past the Turtle Buttes, 
And we're still counting the signs To the wall drugstore Playing stone face with crazy hoes Seven hours to Yellowstone Road Get me a hole where the buffalo roam I'll stand where Costa Lester Making my peace while I'm knocking on the Drive our camper van We're gonna cruise across the land On the road Let's travel then of the week, Jason Wallsmith here on KVOE with Camper Van off of his Overlander album, which is available digitally. And if you see Jason in person, you, you can obviously buy a, a physical CD as well. Absolutely. Which and is if, good. Yeah, and even if you're even more old school than that, you can go online and buy a CD and I'll mail it to you. Hey, how about that? Yeah. <laughs> Service we, with a smile. If you happen to find your one listener that still has a CD player <laughs> and is willing to have yeah, you know, things shipped to their house. The CD player in my car doesn't work anymore, so I'm 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 screwed there. But uh, <laughs> does it at least have a good CD stuck in it? <laughs> yes, it does. Okay, good. <laughs> Jason Wallsmith hanging out here on KVOE. Uh, Camper Van, the name of that song. Overlander, the name of the album. Make sure you pick that up. I'm looking at the back of your CD right now. You recorded this down in a, a famous studio. Oh yeah, Fame Studios down in Alabama. Yeah, it was amazing. Fame Studios in Muscle Shoals where like Aretha Franklin got her start, and the Rolling Stones were there, and more recently Jason Isbell did his like Grammy winning record yeah. there. And so yeah, it was, it was like walking into a museum and it was magic in the air, you know? It was awesome. And did, did you uh, use like some studio musicians while you were there, or how that all worked I out? I did, so the first three songs on the record I recorded with people from this Storyteller Overland Band Company, like the CEO right. played guitar, okay. and the uh, quality control guy played bass. So we made a little like. What did the janitor do? He, he played the maracas. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that was fun. We had this like storyteller overland uh, band, and then the last seven songs on the record I did with like the Swampers, basically like the modern day Swampers, and uh, it was awesome. They were awesome. Like I think we we really truly enjoyed playing together. I went and watched them play uh, a couple of Tuesday nights. They have a weekly gig, and the uh, the guitar player that's kind of the leader of the session guys. His name's Will McFarlane, and he was Bonnie Raitt's guitar player for wow. like 12 years. Okay. Toured with Jackson Brown. He was amazing. So you know you were working with some some top-notch talent. There. Yeah, and <laughs> you know they could have been sort of like, 
I don't know, not cared about my record because they do it every day. Sure. But they were totally fun to work with and genuinely good guys. Awesome. So yeah, definitely want to check out this album, Overlander, from Jason Wallsmith, our Iowa Country Artist of the Week. We'll get more with Jason coming up after our commercial break, but uh, you might want to tune into the Steve Shetler KBOE Facebook page or Jason's YouTube uh, page and uh, stay with us during the commercials. We'll give you a bonus tune on social media for those that are tuned in there. We do thank Sigourney Body Shop. They sponsor our 11 o'clock hour. Sigourney Body Shop does top quality auto body and fender repairs. They do their work fast. And when you put your car in the hands of Tony and the guys at Sigourney Body Shop, it's gonna come out looking as good as new, maybe even a little bit better, and they'll help you out with a free estimate. Sigourney Body Shop is at 210 Clark Street in Sigourney, or call 641-622-2022. We thank Sigourney Body Shop for sponsoring this hour. More with Jason Wallsmith coming up. All right, All right, so we are off the radio. We're still live on Facebook, Hello, Facebook. live on YouTube. Hello, YouTube. And yeah, we've got about four or five minutes here to, to kill. Awesome. So what song do you want to do for us? So, am I, and then am I doing one after yep. this part? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to do, um, I'm gonna do this song called Anchor on the record. Okay. And I didn't write this one. This is by a guy named uh, Matthew Cowell. He was in a band called The Reels, okay. and I just liked the song, so I thought I'd put it on the record. Sure, let's do it. Lately I am aware of the fact that you seem to have some kind of magnet I'm caught in your field It's like I was made out of steel and I get a feeling The ship it's reeling It's taking too much on board I've got nothing to prove I might as well move to your shore And I lie in my bed and I'm falling deeper Everything set me like childhood fever And then when you go I'm sinking low like an anchor Feeling the breeze Before your eye sees And it's time to roll the boat from the bay You'll get torn into bits The big storm hits and you stay And I'm falling deeper Everything's heavy like childhood fever And then when you go I'm sinking low like an anchor chair squeaks a little bit it reminds me of, like my favorite uh, Tom Waits record is Mule Variations which was a later one but my favorite part of that record is the squeaky chair yeah. <laughs> we've got about 30 seconds before we go back on and we'll do the uh, five random questions at that point okay you have any uh, what do you have going on tonight that brought you through the area 
or today? Oh, um, doing some commercial thing for Pella. Okay. All right. yeah, I <laughs> Nothing to worry about. All right, I thought you might have a gig or something tonight. Well, so. I do have a gig December 10th. That would be good to talk about. Okay. Yep, yep we can plug that. All right. And I'll have, like, little computer sound effects playing. Excellent. That helps the theater of the mind <laughs> <laughs> for radio. Here we go. <clears throat> Hey, we are back here on KDOE. It's 11.51 and 41 degrees here in Oskaloosa. Hanging out with our Iowa Country Artist of the Week, Jason Wallsmith, here in studio. Find Jason on Facebook. And um, is, are you, all your social media things under Jason Wallsmith Storyteller? So the Facebook is, our Instagram is Falcor Van because it's about our van. Okay. And uh, it's the van is way more popular than either <laughs> my wife or I am. So, uh, And then YouTube is the Rack and Tourists. Okay. So... But they're all, you can find them all on their website. Yeah, which is? JasonWallsmithStoryteller.com. Hey, there you go. Jason Wallsmith hanging out in the studio again. Jason, also part of the Nadas, uh, if his name rings a bell. Jason, it is that time of the day for five random questions. Oh, Are man. you ready? Hit me. Let's crank up the computer. All right, the fancy computer here in the studio that I use specifically and only for the five random questions. It's cranking up right now. It's spinning out the first question. Let's cue up the uh, Between Two Ferns music. Question number one for Jason. If you were offered the position of mayor of your city, which is, where do you, where do you come from? So technically now, Windsor Heights, a okay. very small little city inside of Des Moines. So if you could be mayor of Windsor Heights, would you take it? First of all, I think I could be mayor of Windsor Heights, <laughs> and I would take it. All right. So you might, might see Jason's face on a, on a political sign coming up here in the near future. <laughs> question two for Jason. What board game do you like the most? Oh, good question. Probably Trivial Pursuit. All right. I'm not good at it, but I like it. <laughs> me neither. Yeah. My, my, if you get me in Trivial Pursuit, it'll take all, all night long. <laughs> if you get, if question three. If you, get, if you could rid the world of one disease, what would it be? Wow. That's kind of a deep one. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna say I'm gonna say hunger, which okay. is not a disease yeah. I recognize, but I think it Definitely leads to lots issue. of other diseases. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right. Question four, uh, Jason Wallsmith, what is your favorite day of the week? Oh man, I'm gonna say Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday's always like Monday and Tuesday has always been my weekends. Oh okay. And I love how Tuesdays just. Under you know underappreciated and overlooked. All right. Yeah, being a musician, yeah. yeah, your weekends are always busy. And question five: If you inherited or won a million bucks, what's the very first thing you'd do with the money? Oh man, that is awesome. I would, uh, I'd probably start giving it away to my family. And Did you, you hear that, family? <laughs> <laughs> and your favorite radio DJ? Uh, you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There'd be, I think there'd be enough to go around. There you go. <laughs> it wouldn't take much to make me happy. So, yeah. <laughs> Jason Wallsmith survives five random questions here on KBOE. And we've got five minutes left in our interview time, Jason. You want to throw in one more song? Yeah, I guess Before I Before we do, actually, let's, I know you've got a gig coming up that you want to talk about. Oh, yeah. Let, let's do that first. I've got, a, I've got an interesting and fun show coming up at XBK in Des Moines. I don't know if if that's within your listeners' range of driving for sure. Sure, yeah. But um, coming up December 10th, I'm doing like a, a three-name bill at XBK with Joel Sires from the band Twins, who just has just released a solo record as well, and Andy Fleming from the band Brother Trucker. Okay. And we're just going to share the stage and take turns playing songs. So kind of a guitar pull, I guess they yeah. call it. Nice. We just take turns and tell stories. And uh, I used to do this with Andy Fleming years and years ago. We had like a weekly songwriter series where we would invite people to join us and but i haven't played with him in a long time and joel's kind of an up-and-comer okay. and he's doing great stuff and so it's gonna be fun to get those guys together awesome all right so go check out uh, jason and friends in concert live coming up on december 10th all right jason let's do one more tune here all right this song is us? uh it's off the record it's called pocket every stone and i like to say it's a song for rock hounds and crystal gazers <laughs> those uh those people who believe in the power of rocks or just collect them. All right. Jason Wallsmith on PBOE. All right. Turquoise and jasper, rose quartz and gold. Days they tumble faster, too young to be the soul. 
amethyst and topaz, Apache tear and jade. Keep these stones here in your pocket. Follow the path they say. Dogs of mad day. Another bone drug my way. Hold it up to mask your face, they say. Probably found it in the ditch. No idea which is which. It'll do to scratch this itch, they say. They say the past goes on forever. They say the future is unknown. Except to those of us who stand together. Except to those who pocket every stone. It's time to leave this land. Maybe ride for another brand. Turn the car, don't show your hand, they say. It's time to hit the road. It's time to lighten my load. It's time to leave this place, they say. And they say. The past goes on forever. They say the future is unknown. Except to those of us who stand together. Except to those who pocket every stone. And the spirits they do move you. And the rocks they weigh you down. So you keep them in your pocket and try not to drown. Smoke them if you got them. Stay still in quicksand. Cause you can't hit rock bottom if you hold them in your They say the past goes on forever. They say the future is unknown. Except to those of us who stand together. Except to those who pocket every stone. They say the past goes on forever. They say the future is unknown. Except to those of us who stand together. Except to those who pocket every stone. Except to those who pocket every stone. Except to those who pocket every stone. Nice job. It's Jason Wallsmith, our Iowa Country Artist of the Week on KBOE. Again, uh, look him up, JasonWallsmithStoryteller.com, right? That's right. That's the website. Uh, Overlander is the name of his solo album, which is, is it available pretty much everywhere? Pretty much everywhere, yeah. Okay. And you can get that online or in person if you see Jason in person. Again, he'll be doing a show in Des Moines on December 10th. And always look for his band, The Nottas. Are The Nottas going to be staying busy in, in 2022? Yeah, we actually have one show coming up. December 11th in okay. Brooklyn, Iowa at the Opera House there. That's right. Uh, not a Silent Night, which is an annual thing we do. And then we're working on a new record, which we'll put out by early in the summer, and then we'll be playing playing all the, the usual things with the Nottas again. We have a few gigs this, this spring, Woolies in Des Moines and Turf Club in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Um, so, yeah, I'm just trying to, like, balance the two yeah. right now. Juggle <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Well, look for Jason and his uh, camper van out on the road near you. He's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's Jason Wallsmith, storyteller. Jason, it's been great getting to know you, and uh, we'll have to do this again. Yes, absolutely. Thanks for having me in, and thanks for playing and supporting local and independent music. You're very welcome. That is Jason Wallsmith, storyteller, our Iowa Country Artist of the Week on KBOE. Thanks for tuning in, Facebook. Thanks for tuning in, YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that was great. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Very easy interview. It's fun, uh, fun doing pro gigs every once in a while. <laughs> um, is this a, who, is this a uh, part of a bigger... We're actually a locally owned... Man, you just don't see station. Yeah, yeah. That's which so they, cool. they kind of let me do my yeah. thing. We're a 50,000 watt station, so I mean, we, wow. we get out there. That's great. Yeah, we Des Moines kind of... 
<laughs> our, our peak yep. up that way. But as far as like the entire corner of southeast yeah. Iowa, we've, yeah, we've got it covered. Love so, that. I love, I, I mean, there's just so little of that anymore. Yeah. You know, we used to do this stuff all the time. And I wanted to tell 